Hi, we're Joel and Leah. And today we're answering your questions, which you sent in on Instagram. If you haven't followed us on Instagram, go and follow us now. Now's a good time. We've got three accounts. Yes, we do. We've got Leah Hatakis, we've got Joel Wood, Wood, and we've got Joel, Joel and Leah. Leah. So make sure you're following all three. Let's kick it off with the first question. Okay. First question, how can I convince you to come to Canada? Well, just pay for our flights. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is log on, book yeah. the flights, pay by for credit first card, first class, first class, because we are never ever, ever flying economy together. Ever. <laughs> no, we are, no, we, we are. Will. It's just you know. We want to go to Canada. Um, I don't know the time of this video coming up. We've literally just filmed about an hour ago a Canadian video. Canadian is our new way of saying it. Canada. Um, we'd love to go to Canada. We'd love that. But That's don't know what we when. Want. Plenty of acting opportunities for oh, us yeah. there. That's what a lot of people say. In Toronto. Say. Okay. Um, how long will you keep the blonde? And why? Uh, I'm growing it out now. If you can't yeah. see, it's quite messy at the moment because it's midway growing out. So it'll probably be gone in the matter of, in the next month because yeah. it'll have grown. In these, like, I can see the regrowth, but with the lights that we've got here mm. in this studio, yes. um, you can't actually see as much regrowth. Oh, okay. But um, I can yeah. confirm that he is growing it out. Yes, I am. Because my acting agent told me to, so... Oh, I know what your answer is to this. Well, um, if you could choose to have a different accent, would you? Which one and why? Um, I'd either choose to go for Welsh or Australian. He loves Welsh. I love Welsh. He loves Welsh. Like we it's did a so video good. with Bambino Becky on our channel, and she was nervous. Yeah, and the <laughs> opening thing, literally in the first second, was her going, "I'm nervous." nervous. It's so and funny. I just keep on saying it. It's, it's so, so good. Funny. What would yours uh, be? I would go for. Do you know what? This is like controversial because I know, you know, I'm like, oh, I hate Paris, I hate France. But I really, I think like people that have a French accent but speak English are really like, cool. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it'll be so cool to like speak a little bit like this. Uh, I don't know why, I just think it's quite attractive. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love that. Oh, but let me think really about a different UK accent. Because uh, I'd probably go for a little bit of uh, maybe Scottish. Yeah, Scotland. Although I don't think my nice. boyfriend would like that. He really doesn't like that accent. Oh, okay. What was your first impression of each other? Oh, <laughs> oh God. Is it just, you know how when you've watched celebrities being interviewed and, and like they get asked the same <laughs> questions all over again. I, I Not that we're a celebrity, but this is all I can compare it to. Is I'm like, this is the question that I hate the most. Like, where do you meet? Or yeah. what did you think of each yeah. other? Maybe people should just go back and find where we talk about that. Because we've know. said it so many times. It's like the Lady Gaga thing where she's yeah. like... 100 people in the room. <laughs> Please edit that in. <laughs> <laughs> so One good. person is so funny. When are you coming to California? Hopefully, Hopefully July. July. So we'll see. Um, if you had a million dollars to so, uh, to spend solely on the other person, what would you buy for them? A million dollars? A uh, million dollars. Um, I'd get you a property oh, over there. Right. because that would Over where? Over, over there, over in America. Get you a oh, right. Because it'd be in dollars. Why not I in mean, London? if you get you one in London. I prefer one um, in London. What would a million dollars be in pounds? About seven hundred thousand pounds. Yeah, could get you something nice yeah, for that. That'd be nice. Yeah, yeah. I think I'd get you a Topshop voucher. That a would actually be to amazing. Top shop. I'd be gl- yeah okay. I mean that's all right. I mean it's, it's not okay. amazing. Like it's not an amazing investment of money. But um, thank you. I'm pretty that's sure nice. you could spend seven hundred thousand pounds on clothes for the rest of my life. For the rest of your life. You're right. Probably and in the next would, five years. I would always look stylish. <laughs> yeah, you would. He cares about my style. I do. That is so sweet. I'm gonna cry. Well, as I said, as I said before, if you look lit, it makes me you look, look lit. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually so kind. Yeah. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you. How has your YouTube partnership changed your friendship? For good and for bad. Oh. I've often thought about this because I think that our whole friendship is built on this channel. And I think for a time, yeah. I feel like we spoke about this years ago where we were like, but are we like really friends? Like what, what, what is our friendship without this channel? Because we, we only really speak meet about up. work or yeah. meet up to do this. But actually, I think it's a great thing. Like this has made like the best friendship ever. Yeah, because as the channel has gone on, we've actually got closer and closer and closer. Yeah. Because there's no, like, even though I look back at old, old videos, like the other, that one where we're in your flat and I'm waxing your legs, oh, yeah. that, like, we were close, yeah. but we weren't as close as we are now. No, exactly. And so like, it has been built. Just in the same way you guys will get to know us more, the more videos we upload and the more videos you watch, like, we get to know each other, because you'll say stuff in videos that I'm like, I never knew that about you, or yeah. vice versa. And so it's like, we've spent years getting to know each other. 
Um, it's like spending years getting to know someone and on and as well as getting to know them on cam yeah on camera yeah yeah like because we could have just done this every single time but gone for a coffee and not filmed it yeah yeah but we've done but it we've online. done it on camera but when they say how has it changed your friendship for the worse I don't think it has because when we started YouTube we weren't that good friends we were friends yeah but we weren't as good friends as we are now so yeah. it's not like we've always been best friends and then we started YouTube. We were like friends and just it happened. Yeah. So I don't think there's any negative to it. No, I don't think so. Like, it hasn't, it wasn't, like you say, it's not like it was like, we're at the pinnacle of our friendship. It's yeah. so good right now. And then like YouTube and it's just like, it's because yeah. we start, it's like when you move in with someone mm -hmm. and like you, you kind of know them, like you and Lucy, yeah. how close yeah, yeah. you've got as friends since yeah, living yeah. together. Like that's kind of, I think that's the best way, isn't it really? Mm-hmm. Okay, interesting. interesting. Um, when when travelling to the US, do you use credit cards? Uh, um, we use prepaid, prepaid cards. Prepaid cards, like Monzo. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we've now got a joint business bank account, so we'll yeah. probably use that mm -hmm. and have to deal with the fees. <laughs> do you read every single comment you get on vids, on your vids, even if posted long after the vid was uploaded? It depends, because it depends when we refresh our phone. Like, yeah. Because then we'll see, like, if we open the app, the latest comments. So, yeah. and that, that might be left on a video from years ago. And so, yes, yeah, sometimes we will see it, but it just, I think nowadays yeah. we get so many comments. Like last time I checked, which was a few months ago, we got 30,000 comments a month, which is a thousand comments a day. Yeah. And I reckon it's probably like 50,000 now. So yeah. it's, it's impossible to see all of them. So when a creator refreshes like the comments feed, it doesn't matter what, unless you filter it out, like only show me comments from this video you'll just see all the comments in time order yeah. and a tiny little thumbnail on the side from what video is from in the title mm. so usually it's the most recent video and then yeah. you get some that are like yeah not very nice comments from like something you did that triggered someone and mm. so you just sort of see when you open the page to have a look yeah. and i'll occasionally um, reply to it if it was a video like a year ago and someone's left a comment and it comes up on my feed and i want to reply to it i will yeah so um yeah what is both of yours favorite dish to make Favourite dish? I'm you could be pudding. Pudding, you love making. I love making puddings, but like, I don't cook in London. I don't even bake in London. Oh, that's sad. I know. That needs to change. I know. I really enjoy, we're talking about this Hello Fresh. I've always, I enjoyed that. Love that. They send you recipe boxes with every single thing you need to make the recipes. Um, we were we lit. That. When we did that, yeah. we had a discount. It was amazing. Yeah. We were cooking loads. It, we felt like it's just really nice to like cook and make your meals and yeah. feel like... And to learn to cook. For me, yeah. that was learning to cook. Oh, okay, yeah. And it was so good. But I just hate cooking. So right now, what I'll eat for dinner is roasted broccoli, chicken, and omelette. And that's all and I'll I eat. taught you the roasted broccoli. Yeah, you did. But you've made it better with the garlic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... Joel, oven broccoli, game changer. Yeah, and it now is. it is. It's changed it's my good. life. But I eat the same thing day in, day out. My flatmate's like, oh, broccoli again tonight. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, I eat just different things every night. I don't get yeah. bored, though. I'm one of those that's personalities good. that doesn't get bored with the same thing. But... Oh, that's good. Yeah, I get really bored of food. Mm. Um, I don't have a favourite dish to make, but um, I'm a big lover of food. So just, oh, uh, just if it's quick and easy, if it can take me less than 30 minutes to make, yeah. I will make it. Mm -hmm. And I will enjoy it. <laughs> Okay, um, this one's quite juicy. Mm. Um, how do you feel your relationship will change after you both move? Um, so to put it in perspective, at the moment me and Leah live about, well, if we were in a car driving, it would be 15 minutes away from each other, but on public transport it takes about 40 minutes. Yeah. So we live fairly close for We've London. We've never really lived that close to each other anyway. Only like... in Stratford and Hackney. That oh, was an yeah. eight minute tube away. Oh my god. That was so good. Eight minutes, that was yeah. mad. That was a time when we genuinely did used to go to each other's houses quite yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. But other we than We have that, been doing this for so long. I know. That was just a hobby back then. Yeah, it was just fun. We just met up and filmed. But yeah. what's interesting about the hobby element of it was that we were both so committed to this yeah. hobby that we were like not willing to miss an upload no. for anything. It was like and if there was a, a technical issue, I remember that time when your laptop kept yeah. breaking, you had to get a new one, and you were you were ripping your hair out in the Apple no. store. We were making no money on YouTube. 
it was causing anxiety, stress, yeah. hair loss, everything. Being like, but my YouTube channel, I've got to do this. And, and your and course it wasn't work. And, yeah, I and forgot. I cared about YouTube more, more than my, yeah, my uni, uni work. I'd miss lectures to go and film with Leah. Like, oh, yeah. my priorities were way off, but clearly... For the right for reasons. The right reasons. Isn't but that anyway, funny? That wasn't the question. That, that wasn't was the question. question. The How question will was, we cope after we move? Just the way it kind of works for Joel and Leah is that we bolt, we've kind of always, when we meet up, we at least film three yeah. or four videos yeah. so it's like in terms of the channel i don't think anything will change i don't think anyone will notice anything no you guys won't notice we will notice we will notice but you guys won't because leah's moving outside of london i'm staying in london so that's yeah. where this question probably comes from yeah it's like maybe we'll go for less coffees so. yeah and Which, it won't be like oh i'm in central london can you go, are you yeah here like, like it'll be that less yesterday often. when i said oh i'm going to the gym and then i'm going to meet a rude for a coffee do you want to come yeah and you were like yeah i'm yeah, going to yeah. be there in five minutes whereas if that was the other way around me saying oh you're around do you want to come I will know in advance probably which days it's you're in London, London. Yeah. and so I'll know that oh she, well she can't come in because she's an hour um, away yeah. an hour and it, a half away or... it would be more structured yeah. it'll, because it would be like these will be my London days and as a mm. result of that there'll be less spontaneous meetups yeah. and just... or there'll be less joint Instagram stories of like Oh, we just yeah. have to, yeah, we just have to make an effort to, like, have conversations with each other, but through Insta stories, stories. Yeah, we're going to yeah. have to keep doing that. Definitely. But it's more realistic, like, we're late 20s now, and it's like, this is going to happen, like, this channel could never just stay exactly like it is, because we're getting older, and, you know, yeah. relationships, like, moving, yeah. and we can't hold each other back from being like, no, you can't move away, you've got to stay in London. Like, yeah, you can't, you can't, you've got to just have a life. I, yeah. I always see myself being close to London in a way. Like, yeah. I like, I don't see myself living in another country, for no. instance, and not being able to just be in London in an hour. Yeah. But and that's, also, it sounds hilarious to you it does, guys. That's what I was going to say, because an hour to you guys, you'd be like, what? I drive that every day to go to yeah. work or whatever. Or say, like, door to door from, say, where I'm going to be yeah. to getting here, it could be like an hour and 40 yeah. for door to door. Yeah. And like, to you guys that's probably nothing but to us it's a big deal yeah in the UK that is huge deal it's caused me sleepless yeah. nights um, tears you know I, I know I want to do it but it's, 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 it's it feels like um, a sacrifice yeah, yeah. yeah. but um, yeah I don't think you'll notice on the channel no I don't because like Leah said we film in bulk so um, yeah. yeah you guys won't notice anything and if you do let us know but yeah and I, in, the question was like, how will the relationship change? Like, okay, I've made it about the channel, but I think the relationship will stay strong yeah. because one of the best things about when me and Joel meet up and we do fun stuff is that we like really look forward to it. Yeah. And we go like, okay, we're going to go to Texas or we're going to go to the Cotswolds. And then we just go, get the Prosecco mm. in, get a food shop. And we just go, it's like being yeah. like, I don't know, it's like having a little love affair. Yeah, I know, a <laughs> little it? fling. It's like having a fling with your best friend. But as well, because our <laughs> friendship... No sex. <laughs> no sex. No sex. <laughs> but because our, our friendship is our work and we've got to be like happy and with each other to make the content entertaining yeah um it means we do have to protect that relationship so it's sort of like it does us good to spend time apart because like you said we get excited to come back together yeah whereas it's those times like vlogmas we've probably never felt so like give me space because yeah. it was like videos every day yeah whereas like when when I've come back from two weeks away or you've been away for two yeah. weeks, that's when we're at our best. So it might yeah. even make videos even more lit because it's yeah. like we're more excitable in our videos. Definitely. Like yesterday, we met up and we did like half a gym session together. Mm. I, Joel came as I was halfway through my workout and he's just about mm. to start. And I was like, this is lit. This is so funny. But if we did the gym together every single day yeah, and we exercised together, we just wouldn't, we wouldn't have no. those jokes and those laughs. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I think it would. Um, it would do us good. It would do us good. Uh, juicy question. Yeah. How does Leah's boyfriend feel about the two of you going on trips together? He hates it. Me and him have so much <laughs> beef. We hate he each other. He hates it. He cannot stand it. But well, he, you, you know, that's a sacrifice. Yeah. He, kidding, guys. <laughs> he absolutely loves it. Oh. He's like, oh, I can't wait for you and Joel to book your next trip so I can have the boys over for football <laughs> and like watch and have like boy time at the flat. And yeah. Yeah, absolutely loves it, understands it, supports it, encourages it, which mm -hmm. is really lucky because definitely didn't have that in my last relationship. No, so. exactly. <laughs> Shade. Oh, sip, sip. Sip, sip. <laughs> sip, sip. Good riddance. Good riddance. Someone said end career goals. End career goals. Um, it depends because I feel like we have 
joint career goals and we also have separate career goals. Yeah. So I always say to people, our joint career goal is to replace Holly and Phil on this morning. We'd love to have a daytime TV show. Yeah, insert some of Holly and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> So, so we'd we want like to be, to be the them. New them. Yeah. It's the biggest uh, breakfast show here in the UK, or one of the biggest anyway. Yeah. And it's great, and we'd love to be we'd them. We'd love to be them. But we'd love to bring a new energy to that and be yeah. like, we'd be us, but we'd be the new them. Yeah. yeah that yeah. would be amazing. Um, yeah. I think, like, I know it's a, it's not necessarily, like, a big goal, but I, I know that, like, YouTube and stuff can be kind of up and down for a lot of creators like there's not a lot of people that survive on this platform mm. for a long time mm -hmm. so i think a goal just in general just to keep the feet grounded on the floor it would just be to continue to be able to have this as a job yeah. for a long time yeah i think that's right it's just uh because it's such an unstable career in some ways yeah it's like what our goal would just be to have some stability with it yeah but that's it's said, only unstable because no one's it's so new. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. I think we've proven that we've we've had stability over the, for the last year. It yeah. has been very stable. Yeah. And people that tend to warn you and be like, oh, but it's not a very stable career. They don't really understand YouTube. And I'm like, this is a legitimate job for tens of thousands of people all over the world. Mm. So, um, and yeah. that's part of what YouTube are trying to promote to be like, this is a real thing. So, and that's what we had to go talk about in Leeds. So, yeah. one per last question: Someone said, "How was Leeds?" We went to Leeds <clears throat> and we were talking to school kids about yeah. what we do for a living mm -hmm. and and careers advisors at schools and, and teachers. teachers. And people, obviously, a lot of the kids were like, "Oh yeah, yeah, we know all about YouTubers. We know how they make money." But mm. we were kind of there to say, like, this could be a job. Creativity, yeah. making content, putting it online. This yeah. can be a job. And it's crazy to think that w we were brought there to encourage kids to want to make content on YouTube. Yeah. Because it sounds like something that lots of people will frown upon, be like, you shouldn't be encouraging them to do that. But yeah. it's a legitimate career nowadays. Yeah. And um so now, I think is there uni courses in it yet? No. Like I can don't you go to so. college and learn how to be a YouTuber? I don't think so. But we could start that we could John Leo College. And we could like hire lecturers because yeah. we could be like head lecturers. Yeah. <laughs> and we could hire our friends that yeah. really are very good at talking yeah, yeah. about that kind of thing. Definitely. That is the end of the QA. Thank you so much for watching. If yeah. you've watched all the way through to the end. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate loyal legends. Yeah, we love answering your questions. So if you've got any more, leave them down below and we'll try to get to you in the comments. But don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already. We, we post videos thrice weekly. weekly. And if you aren't already aware, we've got two extra channels. Yes. Joel Wood, Leah Hatsakis. We will link them in the end card yeah. and in the description. Go subscribe to those for mm -hmm. more content. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Everyone's so polite, aren't they? They always ask a nice question. Thoughtful questions. Yes, there was the nothing. Legends. There was nothing that um, triggered me about no. that quick Q and A. Yeah. Um, no, they're lovely. Good legends. <laughs>